Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at quartiles, percentiles and deciles, which collectively we can call quantiles. What a mouthful. But they're quite straightforward in concept. Now this is just one video in a series on descriptive statistics, the rest of which is up on zstatistics.com. But let's sink our teeth into quantiles. To think about quantiles, let's first consider an ordered data set. So this goes from smallest to largest, and it doesn't so much matter how many observations there are in this data set at the moment. But let's just consider how we describe the location of this data set, or should we say the central tendency? You could probably say, yep, the maximum is 189, the minimum is four. That's giving people a bit of information about the data set. You could also describe the mean, which is the average of the data set. You could describe the median, which is the middle number, and the mode, which is the number with the highest frequency. Now we've dealt with these three measures before in this series. The median though is one I wanna focus on just for the moment. Now we know that the median is the middle number of any given data set. But another way of thinking about it is that the median is the observation that is halfway through the ordered data set. So if you were to go halfway into the data set, so let's just say here are all the observations in green, the point which is halfway in would be the median. Now that's gonna be a useful way of thinking about this when we start considering what a quartile is. So here I've written that the first quartile is the observation that is one quarter of the way through the ordered data set. So if the median is a half of the way through the ordered data set, the first quartile is only one quarter of the way through the data set. So it might be this observation here. Now for the moment, we're not worrying about what observation it is. Maybe it's the number 21 or maybe it's 15. But just conceptually, what quartiles do is that it splits the data set into four even sections. And the quartiles are those points that in fact split that data set. So the third quartile might be this point up here. And indeed the second quartile would in fact be our median. That makes sense, right? The median is halfway through our data set and it's also two quarters of the way through our data set. Okay, so that's what quartiles are about. What's a decile? If quartiles split the data set into quarters, deciles are going to split the data set into tenths, right? Dec, which is that uh, Latin prefix, right? Meaning a tenth. So the first decile is going to be one tenth of the way into this data set. And let's just say it's here. Now the second decile, no surprises, is going to be two tenths of the way through the data set all the way up to your 10th decile, which would happen to be the maximum. So technically you could have a the zero decile, which would be the minimum as well, right? But nonetheless, these deciles split the data set into 10 even sections. Now, what do you think percentiles are gonna do? Right, well, the first percentile is the observation that's 1% of the way through the ordered data set. So it essentially splits the data set into hundredths. Now in a small data set like this, even with my many little green dots here, I certainly don't have a hundred of them. So it wouldn't make sense for me to show you the first percentile of this data set, but you could construct something say like the 36th percentile of the data set, which would be 36% of the way into the data set. So all quantiles are, are a way of splitting up the data set into even sections. Quartiles, you're splitting them up into quarters. Deciles, you're splitting them up into tenths. And percentiles, you're splitting it up into hundredths. Which is why these quantiles tend to make more sense when you have a larger data set. When you have a smaller data set, you can calculate them, but they're just less useful. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to circumvent my duty to tell you how to calculate the quantiles of a small data set even though I just bagged it out. But here we have a data set where there are seven observations, two, two, five, six, nine, 10, 13. 
Now, my question here would be to find the five number summary. Now, when I say five number summary, all I'm saying is find the minimum, quartile one, quartile two, which is the median, quartile three, and the maximum. This is a very common summary you might get for data sets. So here we have this ordered data set, the minimum of which is two and the maximum is 13. That's trivial, right? Now, the median is going to be six and you can see that that's quite clear as well. That's the middle number of the data set or alternatively, the number which is half of the way in to the data set. But how do we then calculate the quartile one and quartile three figures. What we can do is kind of put a thumb over the median and pretend like it doesn't exist. And then we can calculate the median of each side, right? So if we're just looking at these three observations to the left of this median observation, if we were to find its median, that is the median of three numbers, it would be the middle number, which is two. So quartile one can be considered as two. Quartile three can be considered as 10 because that's the median of this side, right? Now that's typically the end of the story and we would have our five number summary, no problems. But if you recall how I said that quartiles are pretty useless when you've got a small data set like this, well, this is the reason. If I was to include the median in each of these sort of sub data set calculations, I'd actually get a different value for quarter one and quarter three. So if I included the median looking at the left hand side here, I would now have to find the median of four numbers. And so it would be an average of the middle two giving us 3.5. And on the right hand side, we'd get 9.5 for the same reason for quarter three. Now, believe it or not, Excel actually caters for both of those types of quartile. The original one was where you use the function quartile.exc, which means exclude the median for your calculations of the quartile. But if you did it the other way around, you would include the median for your calculations of the quartiles, and they would get those 3.5 and 9.5 calculations coming out. Now, don't be too concerned about these two different methods of calculating the quartiles at the end of the day, you never figure out quartiles for such a small data set. If I can tell you the data set in the same breath that I've told you a quartile, there's not much point in telling you the quartile, right? So when you have a larger data set, it won't really matter whether you're including or excluding the median, they'll converge on pretty much the same number. So it becomes a moot point. So if you're looking at this from university, just use whichever formula you've been given for it but all the while, just think in your head, this is all a bit crap anyway, because quartiles, percentiles, and deciles, these are all things we can read off computer output from larger data sets, and we don't have to worry about the exact way that they were calculated. Many pieces of software actually provide you with the option to choose one of many different types of quartiles, but stuff it, just use the default setting and get on with your life. That's my advice to you. Anyway, that pretty much wraps us up for quantiles. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe or check out the rest of them on zstatistics.com. Thanks for watching.